Welcome to another video. This is Jim and Crystal with Serpentine Dream. Uh, Mama, I've been waiting for all season. We finally got our first clutch of eggs. Um, it's from the Butter Girl here. And she was bred to a leopard male. So I'm definitely wanting to see that combo for some future projects. So we'll try to get her off her eggs here and hopefully she will let me without biting me. Find her tail here. Alright, looks like a six egg clutch, so not too bad. I'll put her in a holding container for now. Turn the light off, we can check the eggs real quick. Oh, look at those beautiful veins. Looks good. Definitely good. Awesome looking. Yep, they all have veins. So I'll mark these with a marker. We'll gather them up and then I'll clean her cage out. Scrub it down really good so it doesn't smell like her eggs anymore. So she'll go back to eating. I like to just mark the top that way in case they do happen to move. I don't know how they're supposed to be. And I got my container already set up. And of course, as some of you know, I just use uh, rocks and uh, water and then the uh, light diffuser on top. So hopefully these aren't too attached to the substrate. Doesn't look like they are. I'm going to try to move these around. I want to try to pin this one in so it can't roll around. Well, there we have it. Six beautiful eggs. I'll get these in the incubator and uh, hopefully we'll have a lot more on the way. Uh, clutch number one of the seasons. I was going to shoot this but I figured why not just in case there's any new breeders out there. Um, but what I normally do after I pull the eggs, check them, put them in the incubator um, is I'll clean the tub out really good. I'll get rid of all the bedding, water, change everything out. Um, clean the tub with some antibacterial dish soap. Um, once it's cleaned out really good and scrubbed out, then I'll uh, rinse all that out and then I'll spray uh, diluted bleach in it. Let it set for about 10-15 minutes. Then I'll rinse that out uh, really good. Make sure you can't smell any bleach. Um, and then after that I'll of course put new bedding in it, put new water in it, get all that set up. Um, put it back in the, uh, the rack so it get warmed up. And then I'll grab the female and uh, give her a bubble bath. Um, same thing, I'm just using the same antibacterial uh, dish soap. Just put a few drops in there, let it bubble up, uh, put some real warm water in there. And I'll let her soak for about 15, 20 minutes and I'll give her a good wipe down. Um, that's just to ensure that uh, none of the egg smell is still on her. Um, if she can still smell the eggs and think she still has to take care of them, she won't eat. Um, so this way it'll give her a better chance of uh, you know wanting to start eating again getting back on food So this will uh, this will be the real end of the uh, the video So thanks for watching uh, if you haven't subscribe like I appreciate it. All right. Thanks